The Senate Public Order Committee recommends immediate disciplinary action against, or even disbarment, of University of Santo Tomas Lodi Milo Divina and other alumni of the Aegis Juris Fraternity over the fatal hazing of Horacio Castillo III. Senator Panfilo Lacson, in the Public Order Committee report, recommends that the Supreme Court prioritize the actions against Divina and several lawyers, who are alumni of the fraternity. Lacson calls on Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno and all other SE justices to swiftly act on the issue. Laxon, in his recommendation, says the issue should be dealt with as soon as possible, considering that another life was lost because of the barbaric practices of the fraternity. He adds the actions committed by the members are grossly immoral conduct and are against the decency expected from lawyers and a mockery of the legal profession. Divina earlier said he has long been inactive in the fraternity and that he took a leave of absence since he assumed deanship in 2009, but the committee refused to buy it saying there are photos that show his active participation during fraternity anniversaries and his discretionary acts before and even after Castillo's death. The Senate Public Order Committee also asks the Justice Department to further probe the planned cover-up by resident and alumni Aegis Juris members. It recommends the filing of obstruction of justice charges against the Aegis Juris fratmen and alumni. The panel also asks the DOJ to further investigate the claims of Mark Anthony Ventura, a fraternity member who turned state witness, before they discharge him from the complaint. Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa will require policemen to wear body cameras only after all police stations have at least one body camera. De La Rosa last week signed a supplemental guidelines for the Duterte administration's war on drugs. Among the consequential rules is their policy of encouraging cops to use recording devices like body cameras. This runs contrary to his previous pronouncements, saying they should be made mandatory. But De La Rosa says policemen will eventually be required to wear body cameras in all police operations. Well, you, cannot, you cannot require what you do not provide. Sa ngayon, hindi pa natin na-provide lahat ng mga stasyon ng body camera. Dahil yung body-worn camera natin is in the pipeline pa yung procurement. Pag nandiyan na, require natin lahat yan. Magkakaroon din ng policy. No other drug operations without body-worn camera na naka-own. It isn't clear when they will completely acquire and distribute the gadgets, but the PNP is gunning for 37,000 cameras for the 190,000-strong police force in 2018. De La Rosa also says the PNP has banned Oplan Tokhang from being conducted at night and on weekends. Oplan Tokhang is a house-to-house -house campaigning of the PNP supposedly to knock on doors and plead with drug suspects to surrender. The standard rationale of the police for the killing of drug suspects is that they fought back or nan laban. The Land Transportation Office can now release around 700,000 license plates to motorists after the Supreme Court lifted a temporary restraining order it issued in 2016. High Court spokesperson Ted Teo on Tuesday says the SEN Bank denied the petitions to declare as illegal the donation of the 700,000 license plates to the LTO. The Bureau of Customs confiscated 300,000 license plates for motor vehicles and 400,000 plates for motorcycles in 2016 after the manufacturer failed to pay taxes. Instead of disposing these, the BOC donated the plates to the LTO to address the latter's backlog in issuing plates to motorists. In lifting the TRO, the SEN Bank unanimously ruled the budget for the standardization program in the 2014 General Appropriations Act was constitutional. The modernized license plates include new safety features such as tamper-resistant locks and bolts and reflectorized sheeting. Former Commission on Higher Education Chairperson Patricia Lequanan says Malacanang warned her more allegations will be thrown at her if she did not resign from her post. Lequanan says she received a phone call last week from Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea asking her to resign from President Rodrigo Duterte's cabinet. And I initially, of course, um, protested. I, I tried to say that. But, you know, those, those accusations are all false. In fact, I've already proven them. So, you know, I, I don't see why I should resign. Then he um, went on to say that um, there will be, things will get worse, there will be more. The Conan stepped down from her post on January 15, the first regular working day after Medial Dea called her. It was the same day Iligan Representative Frederick Shaw was scheduled to deliver a privileged speech against Lequanan and file a resolution calling for a probe into the delayed living allowances of CHED teacher scholars. PBA Representative Jericho Nograles also accused Lequanan of going on excessive foreign trips without permission from Malacanang. But Lequanan says she has travel authorization papers from the Office of the President. 
She says her trips were necessary, as these help secure more scholarships and opportunities for CHED scholars. President Rodrigo Duterte says Southeast Asia may need China to secure its waters from pirates and terrorists. Duterte's statement comes after he said the Philippines needs China for research in Benham Rice. The Philippine president says he might call on China to help guard the Sudu and Celebes seas, an area frequently used by terrorists for transit across borders or by pirates who kidnap and hold for ransom the crew of passing ships. Duterte praises China for being instrumental in helping Somalia catch pirates in their seas. He also repeats his preferred mode of dealing with pirates and terrorists plaguing Southeast Asian waters, blow them up. The Duterte administration earlier approved a Chinese-led maritime scientific research in Benham Rice, trusting Beijing will play by the rules even as it ignored an international ruling that affirmed Philippine claim over the West Philippine Sea.